Just a memory. I can take a day. Ah! Ah! I got four billion dollars. I'm lactose intolerant. Give me. I'm going to go ahead and start off the Prime Nostalgia Podcast. I'm here with the P-R-I-M-E. I am Lee Boy TV, and I'm here with the one and only, the infamous, the hilarious, I'm going to just go ahead and give you a title, oh. Mark Saul. Uh, wow. <laughs> Mark well, Saul. What's up, man? How's it going? It's great. Thank you for having me. Uh, the- I'm, I'm excited to, to talk to you guys. This will be awesome, fun. Man. You're like the father of forts. A fork, yeah, uh, but yeah, we do a lot of forks. Um, espe- yeah, especially in these uh, pandemic times, there's been a lot of fort building at our house, and it's nice because it takes up a lot of time to build the fort, and then the kids, you know, uh, they sort of add their own stuff to it, and and then they play their games in it. So it's a good like full day activity sometimes. So fort building is yeah, real lifesaver. Yeah, man, you're teaching them like construction, remodeling. Oh, yeah. and <laughs> right, I know what yeah. my kids, um, it takes a little time to build it up, but they tear it down in less than half of the time. Oh. A fraction. <laughs> <Right. laughs> yeah. Especially the small one. Um, so I've got a two and a four year old, and um, you, we just talked, your kids are five and three. So we're like almost yeah. in that same, in the, the toddler stage, which is wild. Yeah, yeah, it is, and yeah, they're they. My kids are really good friends, which is great. It it it, it makes everything so much easier when they they get along with each other really well. So yeah, but awesome. uh, yeah. That, that comes in handy. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Two little boys, boy and a girl. Uh, 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 my boy is three, and my girl is five, and she'll be six uh, next month. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, so you got a real leader in the house. She's leading the charge. Yeah. yeah, yeah, she really is. She's yeah, she's she's a really great leader, really good big sister. Yeah. Awesome, man. Yeah, I'm hoping still for a girl because uh, yeah, I'm the I don't know if it's just the the boy thing, but they're just both very rambunctious, and uh, yeah. I can't tell who is leading who. I mean, obviously, right now the smallest one is is just taking over. He's two, and he's there's no stopping him. So that's right. Jordan. That feels <laughs> like he can get away with a lot more, maybe. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, and he's pretty strong too. Which is crazy. <laughs> oh really? My <I> God. <laughs> But uh, Mark, man, yeah. it's um, it's been a while since we've we've talked. We've uh, we've conversed a little bit online and and had some dealings there. Obviously, I built yeah. a fort in the beginning of the quarantine <laughs> right. and right <laughs> following your lead. So yeah, um, that was great. Uh, but I am doing an all that fan giveaway leading up to the giveaway, which will be um, a Zoom call with uh, some cast members and also i have you know we were notorious for doing the uh, um the full cast autographs at the end of every show end of every yeah, live show that was got, fun so i still have tons of those autographs and i'm giving not tons i can only yeah. find a couple I, I think i have one that has i think it just has your name on it <laughs> and uh <laughs> maybe maybe danny's and maybe nick's but yeah i kind of got the i think everyone had gone home by that by that time that is funny because um because I I kind of alluded to having multiple and I do have more that just it's just like me and you or me and Amanda right. like yeah <laughs> we were really good at signing autographs that was our like I remember we were the first ones there we were ready to do it I remember what your signature even looks like Leon it's still the same is it's it you same. just write Leon Fry. Yes, yeah. just the F and then just yeah. Yes. Um, 
But I think it's just because also we were just kids and we didn't have nothing else to do. I felt like yeah. they were like in a different world and we just were like, let's go to the autograph station. Oh, like, <laughs> exactly. Oh, right. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I don't know if I would necessarily. Yeah. You know, I might need to do a couple things first, like, you know, say hi to my family or, or you know, check in with people. But back then it was just let's go. Let's go meet people. Yeah, well, because we just didn't want to go like back to school or anything. We just wanted to make sure that we didn't have any more <laughs> school, you know, so we could just get out of there. Yeah. Man, because we were the school crew. It was it was yeah. me, you, Amanda, and Danny was there for a short time. Yeah, I think he graduated while we were there, possibly. Um, and he had his sisters there. Yeah, his sisters, we were pretty, yeah. we were pretty close with his sisters. They were, um, yeah. So shout out to them. Shout yeah. out to them. Yeah, Kelly Lynn and Melissa, yeah. Yeah, man. Um, so we were like the only we're, we were the we were the underage group. We were the well, underage we were. group. Um <laughs> we just had each other, Leon. It was really just, I mean we were uh, <laughs> yeah. And we it was it was it was fun though. It was fun. Oh, we gosh. literally grew up. Was that like your first major project or what what were you doing before all that? Um, I was just doing like, like plays and stuff at community theater. And then I was doing commercials too. I think I had done, uh, some commercial campaigns and stuff, but, uh, yeah, that was my, that was my first TV show where I was there every day. Yeah. And you still, I mean, you still have had some success with commercials. We've seen you, we've seen you <laughs> on the box. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, good. Good. Yeah, they're uh, fun. They're fun to do. And uh, obviously, you've got that commercial face, or you got the look. What What is it <laughs> about you, man? That they just keep grabbing you? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you I don't know. I I really I don't know. I I just try to. I just try to. I try to do a little a little research on on what they want. What the you know what the what the agency the ad agency is going for the tone of everything and i don't know it's sometimes you don't know it's just it's you know roll of the dice really but yeah, uh, yeah i just have a question real quick oh, please. <laughs> for, for Prime? sorry yeah. i mean we're just obviously <laughs> catching up but um, <laughs> other half of the podcast uh, go ahead go ahead and hop in wherever you <laughs> Since you say you guys were maybe maybe two of the closest on the cast, uh, what was your favorite scenes with each other, if you can remember? Mm. Uh, you know, I feel like any any time where we were just sometimes when we were just like the two like uh, henchmen or the two like guy you know guys who come in for us, the two you know firefighters or whatever, like we would just come in. I would just have fun just. Even if we had like one or two lines, I feel like we still just had a lot of fun in the scene, just just jumping in and, and stuff. But I I don't know. I'm trying to think if we had any big, like recurring, uh, characters that were together. No, we played a lot of supporting roles. Yeah, <laughs> but, I mean it was it was so fun. It was still so fun. Like, yeah, just, yeah. just to be, yeah. I would say you know what. One of my favorite memories, and, you know, I can't recall a specific time, but just, like, sitting in Miss Fingerly's class, I, I feel like we did that uh, quite a bit. Just sitting in classrooms oh, where Coach yeah. Creighton yes. Coach Creighton would come through. Um, but in between takes was always just hilarious, especially anytime Kel was there and you're yeah. just in his the midst of Kel going crazy and he's in, like, his full uh, makeup and prosthetics. I don't. I don't know what it is. He just turns it on. So he just sitting there in, in between, in be, sitting there in between takes. I'm oh, sure yeah. me and Mark had a lot of laughs. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. It didn't. It didn't matter what we were doing in the scene. Like sometimes it was just uh, we just had the a front front row seat to just some of the funniest comedic people of our time. Really, I mean, they were just. Sure. It, it was such a treat working with with them yeah, yeah man and uh, i th i know one that i just recently picked up um or just just saw was um obviously when you did stewart 
Oh yeah, a, yeah, Stewart. Yep. We had a little, a little bit of dealings there, and so um, I can't. It's really hard to remember back then, but just when you look at it, um, you man, you were great. You were great as Stewart. That was your. Was that your signature? Was that your I signature think, on all? Yeah, that? that yeah, that was one of my. Yeah, that was one of my recurring characters that I that I I did I did that one a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Fun. I don't know why Murray is stuck in my head, but I oh, like Murray. Oh yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That that's that that was a fun one too. Um, I I started I started out. It was I think it was just a kid in the classroom, and I started out trying to do a Jerry Seinfeld impression. But, oh, okay. And then it yeah. and then it kind of turned. But then they're like, "Oh, I like your Harry Carey impression." He was uh, one of the uh, announcers for the yeah. Chicago Cubs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Will Ferrell would do it, and yeah. and and then they're like, "I really like your Harry Carey," and I was like, "Well, I was really going for Jerry Seinfeld, but okay, we can we can do <laughs> Harry Carey." I mean, it was, that was fun. Yeah, hey. yeah. I, I mean, I was trying to. I don't know what I was trying. I still need to work on my you know, distinction between <laughs> people I'm trying to do, but yeah. Well. Uh... What about hypno pants? Did you did you enjoy oh, that, that one too? Oh, I really did. Yeah, I, okay. I like that one. I felt like that was that was one of my even more original characters, where with the voice and everything, and I like the whole green suit. And yeah, and it was yeah, it was fun playing a, a bad guy. Yeah. yeah, and um, and leading up to this interview, that was actually one of the pictures that I sent off to you. Oh, I think yeah. that was pillow yes. pillow boy yes, in pillow that boy. one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, did you have, did you ever try your hand at stand up? Um, no, no, no. I um, you know, I don't know. I I I've I've done like sketch comedy and improv and, and stuff like that, and I've written stuff for scenes and characters and stuff. But I I never did. I, I think I maybe I was a little intimidated. Um, when I was in college, I had a lot of friends who were. Uh, when I would do improv, I was friends with some stand-ups, and I just saw, I just saw the what they were doing, and I just, it just seemed so, so difficult for me to to really grasp. But um, uh, yeah, you know, it's it might be too late now, but I, I definitely have a, a an appreciation for for stand-ups. It's yeah, uh, it's well, never too late. Oh, I, the, yeah, okay. I don't know, man. That was the feedback I got. It was too late when I got up oh, there. They were wow. like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, they were like, you trying to catch Keenan and Kel, bro? Oh. You should have started a long time ago. <laughs> oh, I mean, I, uh, I, it depends on what you're going for, but I, I, I mean, I think it's, it's, it's definitely something to try if that's, if, you know, if, if you, if you want to go for it, because you never know. I mean, it's also just very therapeutic and and. It's good to get just get your feelings out there. I mean, mm-hmm. it's not just jokes. I mean, it's it's stuff that really comes from w- inside you. So, I mean, I think in any way you can get that stuff out is is great. Yeah, man, and that that's sort of what I was going for. I was coming from the disgruntled child actor angle, <laughs> and um, <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I had just started. Obviously, I I kind of quit the business when I was like eighteen. So I'm not disgruntled because of my effort, but just because of you no, know, just because I you know didn't want to do it anymore. Yeah. Um, and That's and fine. I think I, mean, yeah. I got out there in like March, like right before the pandemic, and mm-hmm. then obviously everything kind of happened. So hopefully uh, soon you guys will see me back out there. So oh, no, good. I didn't quit. I didn't good. quit. <laughs> Getting started. Good. Well, that's great. I mean, and especially now, I've I've known some comics do uh, just like online uh, comedy stuff, and I know you you do you do some of that too. So that's you know, you find a way, you find a way to get it out there. So I have a question. Uh, I guess I guess you can. Why? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> so I seen because I don't know why this is this is hilarious. Without I don't even know if it's without trying to be, but like. It was you, and I believe this is your one of your kids, and you're like doing like the roller coaster thing, but you're like watching oh. like a drama. Movie. <laughs> I, I saw that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was yes. like an emotional roller coaster. I don't yes. know why that just makes me laugh. Oh, thank you, thank you. 
Well, because I, I had seen, yeah, I mean, that's like, a you see that on, on all of the, uh, like, parent blogs of, you yeah. know, parents holding their kids in their baskets and pulling up a roller coaster video on YouTube <laughs> and <laughs> imitating that. I just thought it would be funny. So. <laughs> Like my it son, was. my son did not care for it, but I thought. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, um, I mean, and just to hop into that, I mean, obviously we're on a podcast now, and you have your own podcast. Uh, the is it the Dad Scrap podcast? It's, it's yeah, Dad Scraps. Dad, yeah, yeah, on Dad Scraps. Yeah. You want to um, talk about that a little bit, or? Uh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We haven't recorded in a in a couple weeks, but um, you know, it's it's. It's it's challenging because we're all clearly have children running around our houses and you know we're those are we're doing that um, and so uh, yeah it was basically two or three years ago um, I noticed I was eating a lot of the food on my kids plates uh, that they didn't finish um, for lunchtime and dinner time and breakfast as Leon and uh, Leon would probably relate to uh, I just ate. Leftover Chick Fil A this morning, but okay. <laughs> that's cool. That's <laughs> fun. Yeah. Um. And so, um, I just started like I took a few pictures and put it on Instagram and used the hashtag Dad Scraps. And then some of my other friends who are in a similar situation as I am, they they started using the hashtag, and we all just started started talking about it. And we thought, we thought, hey, what if we had a, a podcast where we just talked about parenting and and just things that are happening to us right now and uh with the emphasis on cooking a meal for our our families at at the end of the podcast we would discuss what the meal was and how well it went over with our kids if our kids didn't eat it if they didn't eat it then we would obviously have dad scraps left over for ourselves right. to eat um, and so it was just kind of at first it was also just a way to just like share recipes too, which was really really fun. It just made it more of like a an interesting way to cook because sometimes when you're cooking, it's like it can be sort of a, a task, and um, you know maybe you don't have time or you're not sure what to cook. But with this, we would each bring a, a recipe, and and that was that was that was one of my favorite parts about it too. And so we're still doing it. We, we took a little break just with all of the, everything going on, you know, but between the pandemic and, and all the, you know, the social unrest and stuff, we just wanted to make sure we were sort of re regrouping and, and we want to present something that, that we feel is uh, considerate of everyone um, in these times. So, but, but yeah, I mean, yeah, definitely check it out that all of our episodes are still up on, on uh, iTunes and, anchor and everything so oh, yeah check it out you guys he definitely had some great book recommendations some i'm gonna pick up myself so uh yeah actually oh, yeah. thanks a lot for that oh, um, sure. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> much much appreciated sure. and then um just just a touch on the recipes it doesn't it suck like when you cook something and then no one likes it like and you're like that's <laughs> yeah. literally why there's so much scraps left it's like oh, right man i, I kind of made does. this for me yeah right Right. And, and whereas your, your, your spouse or, or partner would, would tell you nicely that they don't care for it, or maybe they just won't eat as much, your children mm -hmm. will just flat out say, this is <laughs> disgusting, or this is gross, or I don't like this. You know, they do not sugarcoat it. They don't make it easy. And then it's just, you know, you're in the kitchen for like an hour, an hour and a half, and, you know, there's going to be cleanup afterwards and everything. It's just like, but, you know, they're, they're learning. And I'm laughing because mine will just flat out throw it sometimes. Oh. <laughs> just yeah. throw, just get this out of here. Or oh. uh, if they're trying to be polite about it, they'll just scoot the plate like slowly, and it'll just fall off the table. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, no, bro, no, I'll eat it. I'll eat it. Those are dad right. scraps right there. Hold right, on. Right. right. <laughs> oh, right. Exactly. Oh my gosh! So the scraps, oh. or just throw it in, he'll just throw it in the sink too. Same thing, and I'll eat it out of the sink. It's all good. <laughs> oh, okay. Sure. We gotta yeah, <laughs> yeah. Depending on what it is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Certain foods have different uh, shelf lives, like or table, you know, or kitchen sink lives. You can <laughs> you can take. Uh, yeah, it depends. <laughs> yeah, it if it's a like tightly knit sandwich, I can grab that out. But if oh. it's like macaroni <laughs> and cheese, that's Done. Yeah, that's sorry. Uh, we can't. Yeah, we can't do. That. 
yeah. especially if there's any water in the sink. No. Oh, right. It's not gonna happen. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah, that's um, yeah. so, uh, where, so where do we go uh, next, Prime? I, I know we got a question that we want to ask everyone. Are we going to save that for the actual Zoom, or ooh. do we want to get it on these interv- uh, individuals? I think we should save it for the Zoom. I think we okay. should save all these questions. We, got, we had to save that. Yeah, um, I think we should save it. I yeah. kind of have just one small question. Oh, yeah. It's about, I want to say 2011 when you guys got together from Kamikaze. Oh, yeah, yeah. Was that, like, the first time y'all, you and, like, Leon got, like, together around the cast and y'all were, like, older, much yes. older? Okay, I, okay. I think so, yeah. Wasn't it, Leon? That, yeah, I feel like I hadn't seen you in, like, 10 years. Yeah, it's been, uh, yeah, it's been a long time. I actually, and t- that leads me into another Another question I must ask Mark before we leave. That was, that was the first time that I had seen the cast in years. I know for the, um, what was it, the 10th anniversary. I was out in Washington, D.C. Oh, at right. Howard University. So I, I wasn't able to get around yes. for that. I, were you involved in that at all? Do you know? Do you remember? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, was, uh, I was in. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Mark. Wait a minute, oh, Mark. Oh, oh. No. Oh my God. Do you know if you were there? <laughs> wait, uh, <laughs> you can't skip over that question. How are you going to ask him, is he aware that, Leah? Come on, man. <laughs> I I know that I was in. I don't remember much of those times. So, so so to answer your question, I was aware you were not there, Leon, and uh, (laughs) uh, and I was aware that I was there in um, one of the scenes. I think some of the the kids were doing this thing where they were just insulting people's. outfits yeah. they were wearing and I, I i showed up in the in the background of one of those those scenes um but i i think that was that was the one i was in um and that was that was yeah that was fun i guess that was 10 yeah the 10 the 10th season yeah yeah, yeah. That, was 10th was around, yeah that was around 04 oh, oh right, 04, yeah. Right, right. yeah and my sister was working on the show at that time too so it was cool i got to visit with her because she, my my sister does uh, wardrobe, costumes and stuff. So she was on on the show. Okay. So I got to okay. Dope. Yeah. And then um, well, what what well, brought me sorry. back up is I, yeah. um, obviously you just had a recent appearance on the newest season. Oh yeah! Yes, yes. That was that was a lot of fun. Oh my I, gosh! I, I've the kids seen on the, the show are so funny. Um, I only seen the picture, so can you tell me a little bit about what you did and um, what what it was like to come back? I seen obviously you with Kevin, that was dope, but that oh, was just oh, on yeah. Instagram. Yeah, yes, yeah. Um, I played a principal um, of uh, a school that a character named Tammy uh, goes to. And now Tammy is this very funny character played by um, Kate Godfrey. What is she? She's she's just this really hilarious, um, very strange. She's Tammy, Tammy TMI, so she overshares things, and she just mm-hmm. has a lot of things that you shouldn't necessarily say out loud to people. And I, I play her principal, and she ends up just giving me a hard time and and actually hypnotizing me into thinking I'm a chicken, which you know, <laughs> is fun. My, my kids enjoyed watching that. So I I'm I mean, if anything, my kids really loved <laughs> loved seeing that sketch they want they do watch it a lot and it's it's pretty pretty cool for them to see um but yeah that was that was that was the one that, that i was in that just aired and i can already envision your chicken neck so i can only imagine yeah I can, yeah I, <laughs> you you're in the tour you did that a little bit with Stuart too so they recalled that a yeah little bit, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yes exactly amazing yeah. and amazing so um yeah so if you guys haven't seen the newest um season of all that definitely check it out the cast is incredibly talented i enjoyed yeah. it as much as i can watch it um yeah. my kids love it too they're just a little young but um they they understand laughs, laughs right yeah, they may oh, not sure. understand the content right. but um so we get to watch it as as uh, often as we can but yeah man uh thank you for Thank you for meeting with us, and thank you yeah, for hopping yep, on the yep. Prime Nostalgia Podcast. It was yeah. excellent just catching up with you in general. We got to do it again soon. Maybe we can yes, get our kids course. together one day. That would be great. Yeah. All right.
And Thank you for having just, me. Oh, no problem. Uh, real quick, can you let everybody know where they can find you at, all your socials, and where they can watch you and follow you? Oh, um, yeah, I'm at Mark Saul. I think just uh, everywhere. Uh, Twitter, Instagram. Okay. Um, that's it. Yeah, I don't have I don't have anything. I don't have TikTok uh, yet. <laughs> I don't know. I, no, I don't have I don't have it yet. When when I did go back to do all that, you know, all the the cast members were really pushing me to. First of all, they were like, "Do you even know what TikTok is? How old are you? Are you?" <laughs> they're, they're asking me questions that. I mean, I clearly knew what these things were, but they were, they were jokingly uh, thinking I was a lot older than I was. But uh, uh, so no, I'm not. I'm sorry, uh, cast of new cast of all that. I'm not on TikTok yet. But um, but maybe, <laughs> maybe someday. <laughs> uh, there's a chicken and egg dance waiting. I know. For you. Yeah, I'm sure that would be fun. <laughs> the, world, the world doesn't need that. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe they do. I don't know. Give it a couple months. They'll be ready. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they, they need something happy. So That's I, true. We might do need it. <laughs> it's about, it is about time. It's about time. Yeah. All right, man. Well, I just want to say love you, bro. Hope yeah, all is you. well. This is great. Take care of your kids, man. And uh, yeah, let's let's get them together one day. And hope, yeah. let's just meet up on the, the cast set. Tell yeah. them to bring everybody in. Yeah. We're going to have a oh, yeah. party. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. All right, man. Well, everybody, we hope you are enjoying the All That Week. All that. Remember, all that, all that, all that, all week. All all that. Here you go. (laughs) We are going to be doing this all week. So remember, come back tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. And the next day. And the next day. Yeah, we 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 trying to build up to the Zoom call, so we're doing good building up to this giveaway. Uh, so hope you guys enjoy the content. Uh, let everybody know where they can find you at. You can find me on Instagram, on Twitter, and on YouTube at Lee Boy TV. That's L E E B O Y T V. And you can find me at K V N G Prime Time because I'm everywhere at that name, like literally everywhere. Twitter, Instagram. Am I on Facebook? I don't know. I think we got a Facebook fan page, but I don't use it. Uh, but yeah, mostly Twitter and Instagrams where you where you can find me at. Find the podcast at Promise Out Your Podcast anywhere you listen to your podcast because you know I can say that now. We're now everywhere, and uh, you know, like I said, don't forget all that week. Hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, Prime Time is all the time. All the time. Show is over. Oh yeah, kick it.